Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Molecular Makeup where we explore the molecules that make up your makeup, skincare, and more. Today I'll be showing you how to make naturally colored uh, whipped shea butter and coconut oil moisturizer. So I think these moisturizers make wonderful gifts and it's really nice that you can customize the color to basically any color you want. Um, and it's all natural ingredients. I actually use organic herbal flowers, um, dried flowers to color these. And I'm gonna be showing you how to make these. And then I'm going to explain the skin benefits of all the ingredients used in these products. So the ingredients you need are shea butter, coconut oil. I'm using sweet almond oil black castor oil and jojoba oil the other ingredients are used to add color to the lotions i'm using uh, dried flowers to do that we have the dried butterfly pea flowers which are blue um hibiscus flowers which are red and chamomile flowers which are yellow so I chose these colors because they are all the primary colors so we can mix those colors to make um, whatever color we want essentially and so of course you don't have to have all these flowers like you can just choose whatever color you want and um, get the flowers that you need accordingly I also have vegetable glycerin and that's actually using the vegetable glycerin to help add the color so i'll explain this later in the video in the mixing bowl i have 16 ounces of shea butter and four tablespoons of coconut oil now i'm adding one fourth teaspoon of jojoba oil one fourth teaspoon of sweet almond oil one fourth teaspoon of black castor oil. With a hand mixer, blend the oils together until you reach the desired consistency. Here's what the consistency will look like once you finish mixing it. Now moving to making the coloring. So in the bottom of this pan, I have vegetable glycerin. So I just added enough vegetable glycerin to coat the bottom of this pan. To make the blue color, I added one half cup of dried butterfly pea flowers. So make sure you keep an eye on this, but after between three and five minutes, it should start to develop this dark bluish purple color and so that's when it's done just make sure that you keep an eye on this and don't put it above medium heat medium low heat is ideal now strain the glycerin and flowers now i've strained the glycerin so now it's this very dark blue color and it's very important to let this cool to room temperature before you add it to the shea butter. Otherwise, it's going to melt it and it'll ruin the consistency. Now repeat the same process with hibiscus flowers in order to obtain the red color. repeating this process once more with dried chamomile flowers. So I've divided half of the shea butter into a separate container. So I put about half of a teaspoon of the red vegetable glycerin into this bowl with the whipped shea butter and I'm going to also mix this Thank you. 
And after mixing thoroughly, you will get a pink, a light pink color like this. So I took out about half of it and placed it into a jar and now I'm going to add some of the blue vegetable glycerin and mix it to make a purple color. So I just added about a teaspoon of the blue. So this is the purple one, the mixture of the red and blue vegetable glycerin. To the other half of the whipped shea butter, I've added about two teaspoons of the blue vegetable glycerin. So this is what the it looks like once I've placed it into a container. So this is the one where I've added um, the blue vegetable glycerin. And you can add more to make it darker, but I just really liked how this color turned out. And so finally here, I added some of the yellow vegetable glycerin to the blue and to make this more green color. So I especially think that these green and pink ones are really nice for Christmas gifts and they really smell really nice um, just um, as is because of the herbal flowers and the shea butter and coconut oil. It has a really nice aroma. However, if you want to, you can add a couple of drops of an essential oil like peppermint oil. I think peppermint oil would be nice for these. And I think for the purple one, so for the purple one, I think lavender essential oil would be really nice. But again, I think these smell really nice just the way they are. So just a little about me before we get started. My name is Ashley and I'm a chemist who loves makeup and skincare and all things beauty related and I have a master's degree in chemistry and I'm currently working on my PhD in chemistry and I wanted to create this channel as a way to bridge my two passions of chemistry and cosmetics. So on this channel I'll explain the ingredients of beauty products. I'll be giving my sincere and honest opinions of these ingredients based on my knowledge and understanding of chemistry and also uh, based on how well these products perform. So I hope you all enjoy learning about the ingredients in your cosmetics. The first ingredient is shea butter. In addition to being extremely moisturizing for the skin, shea butter has also been evaluated for its anti-inflammatory properties. Researchers at the Institute of Genomics and Biology tested the anti-inflammatory properties of shea butter at the cellular level so the results of their studies showed that shea butter extract significantly reduced the molecules involved in inflammatory responses. So specifically, it reduced nitric oxide, tumor necrosis factor alpha, and, inter and also interleukins 1 beta and interleukins 12. These molecules are called inflammatory mediators. They are involved with inflammation. So the results of this study show that shea butter actually reduced these um, molecules. And another study published by the Hong Kong Medical Journal compared shea butter cream with ceramide cream for the effectiveness, um, for the effectiveness of treating eczema. The patients reported the same uh, results for both creams actually. So for both the ceramide cream and the shea butter cream, they 74% of the participants reported that they saw either good or very good improvement in the eczema problems they were having with their skin. Ceramides are commonly used in cosmetics as a um, molecule to help hydrate the skin but they're often uh, pretty expensive and I actually did some research and it turns out that shea butter moisturizers are about half the price on average compared to the ceramide extracts and so in this study they had very similar results the participants um, had similar results between the ceramide cream and the shea butter cream. It's more economical to you to get the shea butter creams. I think ceramides are also great, but if you have dry skin and eczema, um, shea butter creams are great to use as well. And the second ingredient is coconut oil. 
There's actually a ton of research on the benefits of coconut oil and if you're interested I can make a video entirely dedicated to the research that's been done on the benefits of coconut oil. And I'll just briefly go over some of the benefits here. So the first key characteristic of coconut oil is that it improves the skin barrier function. So there was a study published in the International Journal of Dermatology that showed that coconut oil actually increases skin capacitance. Skin capacitance is a term used in dermatology that it means the water content in the stratum corneum and the stratum corneum is the outermost layer of the epidermis. So basically they're just measuring the water content and the outermost layer of the skin. And it was shown that coconut oil increases the skin capacitance. And it was also, the results of their study also showed that it lowered the transepidermal water loss. So this means that the amount of water loss from the epidermis was lowered when coconut oil was used compared to no coconut oil being used. Coconut oil contains many fatty acids and there's a monoglyceride molecule derived from lauric acid called monolaurin. So monolaurin makes up about 50% of coconut oil. It actually displays antimicrobial effects and it degrades um, um, lipid coated bacteria and another study also showed that it inhibits the growth of bacteria including E. coli. Coconut oil is also anti-inflammatory. The three additional moisturizers that I used to make this moisturizer were jojoba oil, black castor oil, and sweet almond oil. So jojoba oil is the most is the most similar in structure to our skin's natural oil and so it penetrates the skin really well and is absorbed readily by the skin since it's so similar in structure to our natural skin oil and it also has anti-inflammatory effects as well black castor oil helps retain moisture in the skin and um, also reduces transepidermal water loss so again it reduces the amount of water loss from the epidermis. The last oil that I used is almond oil and almond oil has been shown to have anti-aging effects and it has high levels of fatty acids shown to be effective for treating um, dry skin and eczema. Almond oil also has anti-inflammatory effects and it has been shown to decrease molecules involved with um, inflammation. So in order to color the moisturizers, I used um, dried flowers and there I used um, hibiscus, blue butterfly pea, and chamomile dried flowers. The reason I chose these is because that gives you the three primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. And so from that, you can essentially create any color that you want. And so all three of these um, herbal flowers have been shown to have anti-inflammatory effects. Blue butterfly pea flower has been used for centuries in Southeast Asia um, as a caffeine-free herbal tea and also um, as a plant-based food and clothes dye. So there was a study conducted in which the researchers evaluated the blue butterfly pea's ability to fight against glycation and glycation is um, protein damage caused by an influx of sugar molecules so accumulation of glycation in products cause progression of age-related diseases and so um, specifically blue butterfly pea flower has been evaluated for um, treating diabetes the study showed that blue butterfly pea fights against um, this and also has antioxidant properties. Studying the effects of hibiscus at the cellular level has shown that hibiscus actually stimulates collagen production and it also increases molecules that are involved in the production of um, collagen. It also increases the expression of genes that are involved in hydration of the skin. 
And lastly, the dried flower chamomile. So chamomile is anti-inflammatory and is also very calming and soothing to the skin. So I hope you enjoy learning about the ingredients in this DIY moisturizer and how to make this moisturizer. I just think it's really a really fun way to customize gifts for family and friends for the holidays and you can customize it to whatever color you want using these methods and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.